He's final. A wound cameraman is back at it. Versus Raw uh, Roaring Moon. He's gonna have actually a really strong matchup. Actually, the way Owen Cameraman plays, this should be a really good game for him. Because if, for example, let's say that Roaring Moon opts to go for the Morpico attacks, which is almost impossible unless there's a Frigibax or Bidoof in the front, which is not gonna happen. But let's say he does. Then we just go into a Greninja. So, and I don't think Roaring Moon runs Manaphy's. So we can just start doing some damage early on. And uh, so Owen Cameraman has a really strong matchup against the Roaring Moon. But I can't believe Filippo made it this far with the Roaring Moon. He's done so well. Really happy with this. Let's do this, Cameraman versus Filippo. Wait a minute. What? He's not playing his... Uh... Chien Pao? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, now I have to re-guess everything. Cameraman is playing Mew V? Wow. Absolutely imp insane. So now I can't predict this matchup at all. I actually have to watch it till the end. Because I think Rory Moon gets this. Really, really nice for him. You know what I mean? Like... This Roaring Moon is going to be struggling because... Or actually, Roaring Moon actually gets a really strong matchup against the Mew VMAX. He can KO it one shot every single time, getting three prizes. And he only loses two. This is actually insane. It's almost like Owen doesn't want to ever go into a VMAX. That's what's going to happen. Owen is never going to gonna want to go to a VMAX. Or he's going to be hurt. If he goes into the VMAX, it's just not good. Not against a Roaring Moon. I think, actually, now I have to change my predictions and give it to Filippo. This is actually a strong matchup for Filippo. So, good luck to everybody. I can't believe Owen Cameraman made it again to the finals. Look how he just changed his decks so easy between finals, between, between regionals. Still makes it a high level. Is there, is, are there no no good players in the game? No, I'm kidding. But uh, let's let's go ahead and see. Maybe the maybe the practice magic. But a really strong hand here. Strong with the battle VIP. Also has the Mew. Let's get two Genesex. I I believe on board. Of course, we have to count everything we have. Looks like he's running uh, just a double. No, he actually I see three fusion strike. Maybe he's running four fusion strike energies. Maybe three only. I don't know if I've seen any Alyssa's. Maybe two Alyssa's. Yeah, he's running three fusion strikes. No, four. He's running four fusion strike energy. I don't see Alyssa's though. Maybe there's one in there. I don't see her. I see Iono, I don't see Elisa. So we'll see how this goes. Genesis on board, Mew down. We're gonna have to, what, switch Milowetta out? To get the draws? We're not gonna use up our power tablets, that's for sure. We actually wanna kinda put the power tablets back in the deck somehow. Almost wanna draw into that judge so badly. I know Owen wants to draw into a judge. Wow, he's running SQ in this deck. Wow. Yeah, he's just going to throw away the power tablets. <sighs> I guess not not a big problem for him because... <sighs> he actually doesn't get the KOs. He actually needs these power tablets. He, he Now he cannot one-shot Roaring Moon. I want to see how this Owen makes this happen. Actually, not <clears throat> not a bad hand because you can discard basically your whole hand here again. Actually, pretty pretty nice. Also, you can get rid of that puck stop. That's pretty big. I think what Owen is thinking: Do I do I want to use puck stop first? And I don't think you even want, care about puck stop, brother. Just don't use puck stop. Drop everything down. 
Oh wow, gets rid of the DTE. Don't you want the DTE? Okay. Interesting decision. <clears throat> but increases draw odds. There's the Alyssa I was looking for. Oh, Milwet is going to get to attack turn one. Because we do have the Fusion Strike energy and we do have the Force Seal Stone. Milwet gets to try attack turn one. Oh no. Never mind. Can SQ hit right now? I think SQ can attack with one more energy. Wow. Wow, Owen drew the nuts. The power tablets actually made it work. <gasps> Filippo goes ahead and... The Milouetta is a G. The Milouetta is a G. Oh my god, that was insane. I thought power tablets was going to be a bad thing. But really all he was looking for was an Alyssa. Once he drew that four seal stone, that was it, game over. Unless he had, uh, all he was looking for, Alyssa and a fusion strike, uh, fusion strike energy and he drew both. Which was crazy. But he's playing it so well, make sure to empty his hand every single time to draw back up. Playing it so well. What an amazing play. Wow. B b having the trust to get rid of the DTEs. Alright, man. World champion. Man, world champion in the making right here. Damn. That was ins insane. That was insane. Ro Roaring Moon just, uh, just uh, folds because uh, two Roaring Moon already in the, the trash can. The third one just went down. Uh, fourth one probably in the prizes. Now he can't play the game. He should have still played like played it out because he he needs to play out these games. Unless he just doesn't run super rod, then that makes sense. You should at least run one super rod, but that makes sense. There's no room for super rods. Those are vital units. They never go back into the deck. <clears throat> Owen going first here. Starting with an Ultra Ball. Damn, throws out double supporters. That has to hurt. I don't know what's in his hand again. Is that a Bell VIP in his hand? I mean, it's not going to hurt because he always wants to empty hand, I guess. Bro, his deck is amazing. There's so many four, four of cards. Such a balanced deck. Basically, every time he draws his whole hand, he draws exactly the cards he just had. Or better. <laughs> All right, Filippo. <laughs> Filippo's going to have to wait for a bit. There's going to be a lot of things happening here. Okay, there's the switch. Genesec down. Got the energy down. Lost city down. Draw three. That's not a lot. Let's see what we draw with this. Ooh, really nice. <laughs> wow. Is is Rory, is Filippo actually cutting? Because he needs to start cutting the deck. <laughs> there's, there's, there's magic happening. Oh my god. The draws are insane. Okay, now we got Milowito active.
next turn. We're not gonna actually attack with Meloet though. So is does Roaring does uh, Mew just die here to Roaring Moon? See, this is what I'm talking about. When Filippo gets to play a real game, Roaring Moon is actually in a better spot. He needs to be careful these poke stops. <clears throat> he needs to actually have his uh, pieces down first. But I mean, who, who would have predicted throwing out two Roaring Moons? That's crazy. Owen plays down the whole board because he needs to draw cards. I think he could place Box of Disasters on that Mew. That's a great idea. Placing that Box of Disasters on the Mew actually is a great... Oh, or on the Milwaukee, sure. I guess he just, uh, he doesn't want it to die yet. But if it does die, the box of disaster is on it. Yeah, Meloetta is actually trash right now. You, don't, you do not want to use it anymore if you don't go a second. Let's go, Bell VIP. Strong start for cameraman here. Oh, sorry for Filippo. Roaring Moon Greninja. Is that what we're going to pick? Where are the Roaring Moons? One, two. Maybe a third one there. There's at least two or three in the deck. So yeah, there's there's a, another one in his hand. Okay. He's got everything he needs. Galarian Moltres and Roaring Moon in hand. Squawkabilly activates. Oh my god. The problem is he doesn't get any energy in the trash can unless he has Earthen Vessel. I didn't see Earthen Vessel. Oh, he does get some energy here with the Greninja. Uses it actually before the Squawk. Makes sense. Okay, let's drop down our hand now. For Sealstone down. Do we even Pokemon Catcher? I think we go for the Pokemon Catcher, yeah. Try to get that Mew the... Do we go for the uh, Force Sealstone? Yeah, we go for the Force Sealstone, right? Go for one of the Genesects. Slow down the Fusion Strike energy system. Damn, missed it. Whatever, whatever. Uh, don't get tilted yet. Uh, we can Dark Patch into a Roaring Moon. Do we even attach this turn? I guess we do attach. Because we are going to attack with the Roaring Moon, right? Or are we going to attack with the Meloetta? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is Meloetta only 70? Yeah, Meloetta is only 70. Yeah, more people can KO it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to attack with, with Meloetta. There's a squawk. Nice squawk here. Only losing an energy switch. Is, it's expensive, but it's okay. There's the dark patch. More is active. <clears throat> we also need a switch. Did we draw a switch? No, but we have Pokestop to look for the switch. Also, we have a four seal stone. <clears throat> also, we have a trekking. To find the switch. Also, we didn't attach this turn. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, we got everything we need now. I think do you play one more Roaring Moon down. Yeah, I think you go. You look for one more Roaring Moon. You play it down. And then from then on, you got a full board and you play the game. I think Filippo's goal right now is to get one more Roaring Moon. And then he's gonna switch out to Morpico and go for the attack. That has to make that has to be the only thing that makes sense. 
Filippo here should have a good time unless Owen has some kind of genius strategy to be the Roaring Moon here. Let's see. Trekking shoes into trekking shoes? Is that what it was? Or switch? Because switch is perfect. A switch cart. What was that? Can't see it. I still can't see it. I don't know what that was. A dark patch? No. Okay, the last energy into the Roaring Moon. Okay, more pickles. Not gonna go active, I guess. Oh yeah, he is. Oh no, he's not. Yeah, he did draw a switch card. Okay. Perfect, that's exactly what he needed. He needs to set up one more Roaring Moon though. Perfect, he's getting the Force Seal Stone out. He needs to set up one more Roaring Moon, I think, before he ends this turn. Go for the poke stop. Look for one more nest nest ball. <gasps> he didn't even use poke stop though. Filippo, I think, is getting a little bit too excited. He doesn't have another roaring moon at all. Nothing, no setup. Somehow he's gonna rely on the Morpico giving it energy for some reason. I don't know what he's gonna rely on it for. <clears throat> Somebody needs some. Never mind. I thought the camera was moved a little bit away, but Owen just has an empty place over there. Palpa doesn't really change anything. Just emptying down the hand here. Gen 6 is actually big here, getting rid of that four seal stone was really nice that's why owen didn't care about throwing out his uh, boss what a str what a, a smart idea here from owen understanding that he's going to throw out his whole deck so might as well just add some uh pal pads here to bring back anything that really nice that i need or or uh, super i don't think he runs super rods to be honest with you okay power tablet active looks like we're gonna go for the ko here second power tablets potentially active We do have judge as well. Judge is great here. Wow, what a strong oh. Owen Cameraman and Brandon Cameraman they destroy the, the, the their decks. Like they really destroy the cards. Like they bend them, they really hold them really tight. Really thinking. Here's Owen Cameraman. Using a second power tablet. No judge yet. Wow. Okay, now he has two options. Judge or Iono. Also got the Fusion Strike energy system. Also, he's had the VMAX in his hand, I think. If it doesn't, he has the Force Seal Stone for it. So, he can just activate his VMAX. Get the KO and Iono Filippo out of the game. Oh my god. Own ca cameraman might have the game here. I don't know what he's forced steel stone for. Is it, does he not have a VMAX in hand? No, he went for the Alyssa. I mean, it's fair. He hasn't used the supporter yet. He might as well want to use one. But I thought he would go for the Iona, to be honest with you. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Wow. Owen Cameraman is going to make Milouette a hit for 280. Oh my god. Actually, this, this Milouette is going to hit for... 
330 or something with the power tablets. Oh my god, 3 320. No, 330. No, 320. No, 330. 340 actually, 340. That's crazy. Oh no, no, only 210, only 220. But because, no, it's actually less than 220, but because of the power tablets. <clears throat> Looks so, like yeah, he attached a DTE instead of the Fusion Strike Energy, the last one. Good, good idea. Good idea. He still got the KO because of all the power tablets. Okay, so Owen's caught up here with Filippo. Let's see what Filippo wants to do. He has really strong options here. He needs to get a Roaring Moon out and two... He does have Sada on hand, so Roaring Moon is needs... Uh, uh, and he has Ultra Ball, so he can get Roaring Moon out. Thinning out the deck, I guess. Also has some fodder that he can throw out for the Ultra Ball. He does have one more Roaring Moon. Don't worry, he has two more, actually. I know he's going back in for a Roaring Moon, so I don't know what he's doing here. <clears throat> Milueta is actually 90 energy. So she cannot be KO'd by the more Pekka. Tough matchup here for Filippo. He needs to Greninja somehow, but he can't. I don't think he can Greninja. Here's another Poke stuff. Nice. And Poke Gear. Yeah, we know the play here. We're going to go for the Roaring Moon. I mean, we really cannot KO Milueta any other way as Roaring Moon right now. We literally cannot do it. We have to go for a Roaring Moon with the Ultra Ball. Use That's a Sada, right? Yeah, so we're going to use the Sada. Oh my god, we're throwing away. I guess Pokemon Catcher it could be helpful. I think we needed that last Ultra Ball. Because we're going to need one more Roaring Moon. Unless he wants to play with the Galarian Moltres. There's the Sada. <clears throat> we only get one energy. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> we only get one en energy here. Not enough. But we do get the three draw. That's what we're aiming for. Ah, oh, bad draw. Oh my god, we drew into a Pokemon Catcher. That's really bad. I guess we're just going to have to leave some damage on the Milouette, though. And hope to god that Owen does not have a boss. If you have a boss... That's game over for Filippo. He cannot set up another Roaring Moon. I don't see it. Wait. He can do more than 70 damage? I thought it was only 70. What? What? That's 70, no? Wait, am I mistaken? Let me hear what the commentators are saying. Uh, uh, yeah, he will. Yeah, oh, and I think uh, talking about how he wants to see this game. His ability won't activate. Professor Sada, though, letting you attach two energy, well, one energy to each of your ancient Pokemon. Uh, and he has one in play, though, so that's going to be one energy to the wall. And what has 90 energy? As well. Yeah, and this is exactly why I liked that spreading of the Fusion Strike energy, because Ooh. even though Filippo is forced to gust, there's no sp strong option here, really, uh, if he wants to be knocking out uh, Owen's potential attackers. If he takes out a knockout on the one uh, Mew or the other, yeah. he's still leaving Owen's field with two fusion strike energy but it looks like we don't see any of those catches being played we're just gonna see the energy wheel or energizer wheel i should say for more pekka to ko the oh the it's because more pekka is has gets weakness more, okay never mind more pekka doing it i'm so bad he's hitting weakness i'm so dumb okay 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 let's move on moving on the mew i forgot that more pekka hits weakness for some reason i forgot ghost hits weakness for a second Yeah, he's looking for his last Genesect. Killing that Genesect actually hurt Owen bad. But Owen should be fine here. If he can boss in, 
that Roaring Moon, which he has ability to draw. So, so maybe just not use the Iono, toss her out somehow. Okay, VMAX is on board. Fusion Strike energies in the on the Mew. One thing Mew can do is jump away here. There's Ultra Ball throwing away all his supporters to get another Mew VMAX. Or no, just another Mew. Not sure what he's thinking about. Okay, Genesex is on board. Yeah, he needed that third one. Doesn't need another Mew, really. Because <clears throat> he might use the Psychic Leap here. So he doesn't need the VMAX either. There's the Lost Vacuum. Alright, we're going to draw into five. Awesome. This is great. Owen activating his uh, deck to perfection, really. Got the Mew, got the Mew VMAX. So now we can VMAX. Oh my god. <clears throat> Filippo actually can needs to just get one KO on one of these VMAXs. He wins this game. If Owen catches a boss, we lose. Oh my god, bosses in hand. Owen bosses in this Rory Moon. And we're gonna say oopsie daisy. Uh, but we do need one more power tablet though. Damn, Owen needs a power tablet. He used too much power tablets. So now he's just gonna, he's, just, he's gonna have to throw through, uh, draw it through his whole deck. He's gonna boss in the Roaring Moon, and then he's going to draw one last time. Oh my god, he's got, the, he's got the power tablet! He got the KO! Owen is a gambling man! Owen is a gambling man, he just won the game. Can Filippo recover? He did not set up another Roaring Moon. Owen is about to become a champion. He's, look how excited he is. $10,000 on the line. Moltres is coming out. We need to KO this VMAX. If Moltres can do it. Oh my god. Filippo can actually do it. Filippo can KO this uh, VMAX. He just needs to... What is, what is this? There's the dark patch. What just happened? Owen... Owen... Uh... Oh my god, he got the dark patch, that means he gets the retreat and he gets the game. Yep. Uh, because he hits for 190, 190 times 2 is almost 400, so that's insane. KO's that VMAX and he wins the game. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna go to game 3. The problem is Roaring Moon is hitting for weakness here. EU loves Roaring Moon. Damn, no basics. He double sleeved this deck. I don't know if that's legal. Maybe I'm wrong. Kind of looks like it. I mean, I'm sure it's legal. If he's in the finals. Anyways. Let's go. We got the Galerium Moltres on the board. VMAX and Fusion Strike Energy. No worries. We have a way to get that out. The problem is that Fusion Strike Energy... 
being in there is going to hurt a little bit but it's fine it's so low there that we're going to get to it really really quickly Owen is going to have a great game here can Filippo catch up with him Filippo starts here Filippo starts I'm not sure if Filippo wants to do that Filippo actually likes to go second there it is, Trekking Shoes, gets you the Battle VIP, which gets you Greninja, what, Greninja Roaring Moon? Because you have more Galarian Moltres Galore. You can also find the Morpico. Not sure what the Morpico is good for, though. Morpico has been giving me nightmares, I don't like the Morpico at all. What, he only picked up one card? No, 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 he's just thinking. He could get a squawk as well, yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna find the squawk. Oh, there's a Mew as well. I don't see a way for us to trash our hand. Greninja literally has to draw us the nuts. This is really bad. If Greninja doesn't draw the nuts, we lose the game. Oof, Ayono. Big. Big. Now we can just drop our hand down and go for the Iono. We also get the Dark Patch activation. Also can get a Squawk. Yeah, he's going to go for the Squawk, I think, here. Instead of the Iono. Let's see what he's thinking. The, is he thinking his best thing to do is... To not, I mean, does he is does he like not want to disrupt Owen's hand? I think he should. You don't know if it's good or not. The Iona turn one is actually he oh, I'm not sure if he can Iona actually. Never mind, he's going first. I'm I'm sorry guys. That's why he's thinking about trashing Iona because he can go for the squawk here. Turn one. No what? No squawk. Big Lee, Big Lee, guys. What's what am I looking at, guys? Wow, no real setup here from Filippo, no energy in the trash. Cannot use Quack anymore. I mean, I guess he didn't have any any energies to trash. He only had one, and he can do th that with the Greninja. But still, my God. I guess he, also he doesn't want to give him too many options for the Mew here to KO. But still, Filippo is going to be struggling here. Owen, oh, uh, let's see how you're going to make the magic happen. You are climbing a hill, basically, is what Owen is doing right now. Owen is having uh, is gonna have a really tough time. Literally hitting for weakness for this deck. Big 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 thing. Huge. Hitting for weakness is huge. Alright guys, let's see this finals. It's gonna be great. Mew and the Milueta get the activation. Owen just abusing the cards just unrecognizable after he plays with them don't ever give him your deck just just a warning it's gonna be hurt. it's gonna be broken <laughs> there we are we got the genesect out this is looking much better for us now we need to just fill up more genesects we also need a switch to switch out that genesect out of the board let's see if we find it here not sure Filippo is happy to be honest with you guys. 
It just doesn't have a setup. It's just going to have to rely on top decking some good cars. He also has the Iono. Oh, wow. There we are. We got the Hisuian, which gets us one more Genesect. Thinking about throwing the Hisuian? I would not. We also need Escape Rope. That's why he's thinking about throwing the Hisuian. Because he didn't count how many Genesects he has. But I, I, or maybe he did. I don't know. Well, I guess, yeah. He throw out the Escape Rope. Nice, getting a switch or a VIP. Yeah, there we are. We got the switch. So it doesn't matter here. We got the KO here. We have the fusion strike energy already. Can V Max easily here? That's exactly what you need. You need to switch. Our own cameraman gets the Genesect. Absolutely amazing. Losing the fusion strike energy consistency though. He was about to get it turn one now. He's not gonna get it as a first prize Let's see where it's gonna land <clears throat> There we are we activated one more genesect we got the power tablet we don't need any more power tablets activated we recognize, uh, I mean, we do have one more Genesec, so pretty big that we didn't use it. Okay, Battle VIP could be or cannot be used, actually. Retreat into the Melueta. Melueta gets a KO. Absolutely amazing here. Path will be huge, stopping the Gradient Greninja. I guess he doesn't do it. Let's see how Filippo res responds here. He needs to get the Mew with the Fusion Strike energy and KO it. He also needs to Iono out Owen's hand out of the game. He has to rely on this Pokemon catcher hitting. All right, throwing away the Pokemon catcher. Okay, interesting. Getting the Morpico, Dark Patch. Into the Roaring Moon. No, into the Roaring Morpico. Wow, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can just attack with Morpico. We don't need actually to get the Pokemon Catcher activated. Get the draw with the Mew, and then we can Iono here. Oh, no, we have Research. Iono, more value. He had Research in hand. More value. Getting rid of that 9-card hand was huge. Making it 4 is bigly... It's not going to be there for long though. Let me see what he drew. Fog Crystal. Okay, we got a strong hand here from Filippo. We got another Ultra Ball to get one more Roaring Moon. We need a way to get rid of this Gal Galarian Moltres from the front. We need a Switch card. No, he gets one more Galarian Moltres. I think he's just going to start attacking with, Galar with Galarian Moltres. I think he recognizes he's got the weakness. It's easier to feed than... Oh, he didn't have a Galarian Moltres. I thought that was a Galarian Moltres on, on the front. Never mind, that's a Mew. Never mind, he can retreat that easy. Okay, there's the Pokestop. Wow, that's great. He needed one a lot. Uh, he needed some more energy in there. 
So he's got the KO here. He can just retreat. Can also go for the Earthen Vessel and get more energy. Nice. Filippo's finally getting a setup. Can actually do some work here, guys. Looks like he hasn't even activated his Greninja yet. There it is. Oh my. Yeah, he also has a stop for a path. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Also has a stop for a path next turn. Okay, more Pico attacks here. Oh, first we're going to activate Dark Flame. Great, great idea. Really strong. Okay, let's see how Owen is going to climb through this. If, if Owen gets a boss, Owen is a genius because he can KO that Moltres. Now we know why he didn't put the Squawkabilly in the board. Filippo recognizes Squawkabilly can be bossed easily. Whereas Moltres requires you to either... Moltres 210, right? So you either... Where's that 220? No, it's 220, so damn... So you have to hit a power tablet. So he's relying on hitting a power tablet. No matter what. So it makes it harder for you to get that KO. It looks like Owen doesn't like using the Pokestop whatsoever. Just goes ahead and gets rid of it. Losing the judge while we have Iono. There's a power tablet. Okay, we got a KO here. We got a KO. We just need... We don't need to use... Oh my god, we drew into a boss as well. Oh man, this is big. Do we have a Fusion Strike Energy? I think we do. I think there's a Force Seal Stone in hand. Yes, this is big, guys. Force Seal Stone. Unless we have... Yeah, Force Seal Stone to the Fusion Strike Energy. Power tablet boss. We win game here. Kill the Roaring Moon. This is it, but we also need a VMAX. This is a big draw, big draw. You don't need to use two tower power tablets. You only need to use one. You can own the second one. There it is, bossing and the roaring moon. And then we're going to Mew V. We need to find Mew VMAX now. Oh my God. That's Mew. That's not Mew V Max. That's Mew. Do we have Ultra Ball? No. I don't see an Ultra Ball. Um, oh, and you cannot use another power tablet. Oh, yeah, Ultra Ball. Good, good, good. There's an Ultra Ball. All right, we got the V Max. Absolutely huge, guys. We got the KO here. Here, absolutely big. Owen has got the nuts draw. Uh, draws absolutely amazing. Owen is gonna make it happen here, guys. Palpading the Iono boss. No, just the boss. <laughs> Doesn't care about the Iono at this point. Owen the champ is about to do what here? We have choice built for next turn. Oh my god. Now we don't even need a power tablet. We just need one more boss. Makes sense why he pal padded it back in. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Doesn't matter if Filippo gets the KO here. Because we have a response. We still have a boss. We have to draw our whole deck, but we still have a boss. We actually don't need the boss. We just need the power tablets. 
but if we don't draw the power tablets then we need the boss so we can use the choice belt but that's amazing we're drawing amazing Owen is gonna get the KO here but it's just not enough because he has the dark flame and the attachment so he gets the KO easy now one thing he could do is get rid of that choice belt but the choice belt is just not enough it just gives, uh, gives him two actually that's big Getting rid of the Fusion Strike Energy one. Because Owen already used two power tablets. If he doesn't have a Fusion Strike Energy... He just needs to use a Pokemon Catcher to see if it works. That's it. Wow. Yeah. He just needs to see if Pokemon Catcher works. If it works, we pull in the Fusion Strike Energy Mew... My brother Filippo, I know it's a tough choice, but you got the you got everything you need. I don't know what you're waiting on. It's a pretty pretty straightforward hand. Got the dark patch as well for the Galarian Moltres to activate. Just go ahead and activate the Galarian Moltres. Get it ready. And let's see, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm surprised we haven't used the Pokemon Catcher yet. I don't know what we're waiting on. Maybe his luck will switch. But it makes sense, uh, he doesn't want to... The thing is, he's forcing Owen to use the DTE Mew VMAX, that's the thing, which is big. Okay, there it is. Doesn't want to use the Pokemon Catcher. Just wants to KO that Mew V Max. Also gets that Puck Stop, so it's gonna get the draw here a little bit after he draws the four. Let's see if he's gonna prioritize getting rid of it if he goes for the Roaring Moon, getting rid of that Puck Stop. Honestly, it doesn't matter with the Fusion Strike Energy System. It's just so hard to shut that Strike Energy System down. Also, he needs to... Well, I mean, Roaring Moon is not going to get... The, the 8 damage on Roaring Moon is not going to be big. It's not a big deal. Actually, it, it is. We lose game. Damn. That's why we needed to use the Pokemon Catcher, because we cannot hit that Box of Disaster, not yet. We needed to wait one more turn. Ah, we, needed to, we needed to hit that bo Pokemon Catcher. We need to hit the Pokemon Catcher, kill the Mew V with the Fusion Strike energy. That, that view in the Mew in the bench is useless. Because we don't have Fusion Strike Energies to fuel it. I think there's only one more Fusion Strike Energy in the deck. But now we take 8 damage, allowing him to DTE us out of the game now. That's game. Yeah. That's game. GG. GG. Owen the champ. $10,000. Let's go, baby. Man, we might make this a, a career. <laughs> what a G. What a G. Come on, boys. I mean, he, he can make it happen with any deck. Just throw a deck his way and he can make it happen with it. What a G. So one thing I recognized about him is he prioritizes just drawing, drawing, drawing. Even with his Chien Pao, just prioritizing drawing. So... Uh, even if he has some good pieces in hand, just throw them out. We'll find them back later. We'll ha we'll pad pad back the supporters. We'll we'll do whatever we need. Just throw the throw that out. Very impressed. All right, let's move on, guys.